am I? Now what do you get when you cross motion gaming and horror flicks? Such as Hostel. Why Rise of Nightmares, of course. Rise of Nightmares for Xbox 360 was just released September 6th and requires a Kinect. Finally, a sweet horror game for the Kinect, right? Eh, let's not go there quite yet. You start off in the game learning your Kinect basics, of course, while trying to escape a cell with some other female. And before you know it, you're trapped! However, this is just the opening because after that you're on a train, as Josh, a married man who has a bit of a drinking problem and really pisses off his wife, Kate. You begin to notice that things just seem weird. Like in a scary movie, you know when something's going to pop out, and I assure you, things do jump out at you. But anyways, Kate wants you to come find her in the dining cart, and well, before you know it, some crazy mad scientist is hauling off with your wife. The train you're in also derails, and you're stuck with a bunch of people you don't know, and some people who can't even speak the same language as you, and the others who you know will always be the first to die. <laughs> Oh god, what about Kate? The controls for interacting with objects feels very simple. Yet when I was trying to run at one point, the Kinect claims that you can run by simply placing your foot further out than you normally would. But of course that didn't work for me. Instead, I just had to run in place like a maniac in a marathon. Weapon control is also more like the interaction. It has an easier feel. You have different stances also. For instance, you can block attacks as well as go back to fighting with your fists held high up in the air. <laughs> Things start getting really creepy really fast as you get closer to the building that you started out back in the beginning in. More people who survive the train derailing start dying one by one. And then you start noticing some messed up zombie nurses and just overall screwed up creations. Rise is rated mature for very good reasons. It's extremely gory. I wouldn't necessarily say that this game is bad at all. It's quite a new experience for the use of the Kinect. However, I'd rather play this game with a controller. I just don't like feeling on edge while I have to stand. I'd like to play my scary games while sitting down in a comfy seat. As far as graphics go in this game, I felt like the character models in the beginning looked pretty decent. But the facial animation always seemed off with the voices. It's basically just a small delay with the person's lips when they're talking. But a good thing about the graphics is they really wanted you to see all that blood squirting, and it really does fly. Rise of Nightmares is definitely not a game I'd recommend to anyone who gets scared or sickened by gore easily. As the story unfolds, it begins to actually get more interesting as the bigger plot unfolds. Yet you still struggle most of the way through the game with different items that eventually break down, so this causes you to have to search for new ones before you get your ass served to you by some ugly undead. <laughs> <laughs>